Hey Dynamos, it's me, Miss Rats, here for your math minute. Today we're going to be solving some beginning unknown math problems. So we're going to say that Miss Rats had some Legos, and then she gave 16 to her cousin, Emily, to build a house with. Now Miss Rats has 15 Legos left. So how many did she have at the beginning? So Mistress had some Legos, we don't know how many. And then she gave 15, 16, away to her cousin Emily. So we're subtracting those. And now she has 15 Legos. So how many did Miss Dress have at the beginning? Now, this problem does not have a big number in it. Like, we don't know how many she started with at the beginning, and that would have been the big number since she's subtracting. So to find the big number, we need to add the two smaller numbers together. So here's the 16 that Emily used to build her house. And here are the 15 that Miss Grass had left after she built the house. So, how many Legos did Miss Grass have at the beginning? Well, I'm going to make groups of 10. There's a group of 10. And there's a group of 10. And there's a group of 10. She must have had 10, 20, 30, 31 Legos at the beginning. Let's see if this makes sense. 31 Legos take away 16 Legos equals 15 Legos. Does that make sense? It does. So the answer is 31. Okay. We're going to say that Miss Drass had some Oreo cookies and she decided to let the dynamos lick moon phases out of them. So they needed, they used eight of the Oreos to lick moon phases because there's eight moon phases. And then Miss Drass had 16 Oreos left. So how many Oreos did she have at the beginning? So Miss Drass had some Oreos And then the dynamos used up eight of them, so we must be subtracting. And now there are 16 Oreos. Pause the video and solve this problem. Okay, I do not have my big number, which is the number of Oreos Miss Drass had before she gave any away. So I'm going to draw my two smaller numbers to figure out my big number. So here are the eight Oreos that the Dynamos licked. And here are the 16 Oreos. That Miss Drass had left at the end, which she couldn't eat because she's allergic to chocolate. So I don't really know why she bought Oreos. So here's a group of 10. And here's a group of 10. So there were 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Miss Drass must have had 24 Oreos to start with. Let's see if this makes sense. 24 Oreos. Whoops. Let 
24 Oreos, take away 8 Oreos, equals 16 Oreos. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. So the answer is 24. If you got this box right, you can have a bite. Oops. If you got this box right, you can have a bite of an Oreo. If you got this box right, you can have a bite of an Oreo. If you can get this box right, you can have a bite of an Oreo. I meant to say points. You can get a point for each box you had right. Okay. We're going to say that Miss Drass got some letters from her friends at school, the dinos. And she hung some of them up on her window shade so she could see them. And the ones that she hung up on her window shade were 12 of the letters. And then Miss Drass had seven letters left to hang on her refrigerator. So how many letters did Miss Drass get in all? So Miss Drass got some letters, we don't know how many. And then she hung 12 up on the window shade, so they're gone. Now, she has seven to hang on the fridge. So the big, oh sorry, so you're going to pause the video and solve this problem, okay? big number that Miss Drass started with. We only know the two smaller numbers. So I'm going to draw the two smaller numbers to find the bigger number. So these are the 12 letters that Miss Drass hung on her window shade. And then she had seven left to hang on the refrigerator. So if I add 12 and 7, I'll find out how many letters Miss Drass got. So this is a group of 10. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That is not a group of 10. So this is 19. Miss Drass must have had 19 letters all together. Let's see if this makes sense. 19 letters. Take away the 12 letters she put on her refrigerator equals 7 letters left to hang on her, oh sorry, 12 to hang on the window shade equals 7 left to hang on the refrigerator. Does that make sense? Nice job guys. See you later.